delighted to welcome as many people as we possibly can to our third exhibition of David LaChapelle's work. Um, it always creates quite a stir when we have him. They set your teeth on edge, um, and I mean that in a good way. These are just faintly repellent and rotten and decadent and gorgeous and beautiful and sumptuous with an underlying nastiness to them. Flowers traditionally have been symbols of death. And it, it's no big deal to interpret David's pictures like that, but he adds this sense of the uncompromisingly contemporary. Uh, it's as if David is actually turning his camera on his own world, his own society, his own culture, his own friends, and showing them, well, the truth. So you set but these up as a still life. Yeah. And how much manipulation do you do when you've taken the, the master well, well, photograph? you know, first of all, we start off and there was, I'm shooting high definition with the best camera yeah. available right now in the world. So that's why you see no grain and the, the clarity yeah. of image. But yeah. I wanted to play with the visual, you know, optical thing, kind, yeah. of, kind, of, kind of like the, you know, the sort of, um, well, photorealism painters would play with the opposite, you know, trying to make a painting look, look like a photograph. Yeah. I was trying to make the, the photo look like a painting. You know, these... That caterpillar, of, for example. Yeah. Up here. Yeah. yeah. What's yeah. he made of? He's a caterpillar. Oh, he's a real caterpillar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's a real caterpillar. Just the plastic, you know, this gives it that sort of, you know... Yeah, yeah. The, instead of a tapestry or something, using this garbage bags and plastic sheets, but it also, at the same time, gives you this painterly effect, you know? And then we put diffusion in the air with a this, with this slight bit of smoke. Yeah. And then I shot sometimes four seconds, eight seconds. Be able to represent him is a huge coup for us, um, and uh, you know he's now been collected by some of the major museums. He's had exhibitions in very important public spaces in these last few years, in Korea, in Israel, in America, in New York, and I mean wherever. And so you know he's beginning to build a curriculum that is putting him at the forefront. Uh, our f f particularly my style, in particular. The style of this gallery is to concern to, to, to have uh, artists from every time eh, through the centuries, from the 14th century, from the gold grounds period, from the Florence uh, uh, era, no? when there was the Medici or the Giotto before, to the views, the Italian views of the 18th century, Canaletto or something else, or Caravaggesque before, and then today contemporary modern art. We, we have already finished an exhibition on Giorgio Morandi, the famous still life painter, some months ago. So we like to surf through the centuries. That is our, that there are no borders for us in the history of art. That is our, our style of the gallery, our concept. These particular spaces um, lend themselves, I think, very, very well for David's incredibly colorful compositions. It's the first time I've really seen the pictures hung properly uh, in a, any space at all, ever. So it's the first time I've uh, seen them hanging and you know, really happy that they, they look as I wanted them to, you know, and just very satisfied. In a way, it's uh, mixing the traditional uh, flowery things and uh, still 
nature I and mean, the pop art, which I like pop art, and, uh, and his photography uh, background. So, well, yeah. So I think it's beautifully lit. They're wonderful surroundings, which should give almost any kind of work a good start, I think. I think it's beautiful. I mean, it's such a lovely building, um, such a lovely part of Mayfair as well. Um, I think it's a, it's a nice big space, which I really think captures the work. Um, obviously, the images are quite big, and so you would really need sort of, sort of a space which has the height, and I think this space really does do that work justice. I think David uh, gives this kind of uh, happiness when you look at his uh, work. It has something very, very serious inside, but at the first, uh, at the first uh, looking, you feel something that is happiness, uh, is uh, plenty of colors, or something quite, uh, you know, uh, decorative and elegant. I think uh, Marco and uh, Armando are, sh are putting on really, really good shows. Um, you know, and even though a lot of the work they do deals with the secondary market, so it isn't just contemporary art. I think that the, the shows they do do, like this one and like the Mirandi show, I think that it puts them really in the first tier of London galleries. I think you certainly need the space. You do need the space, otherwise the beauty of these uh, paintings or these pictures are, uh, is diminished. You uh, bring forward whatever you want to, to, to show to the public you bring forward with the way you exhibit it. I love the gallery, I love the gallery, it's a wonderful space and it's, everything is very well displayed and I spoke with the owner earlier and he was charming, which is uh, you know, it's very important. So uh, yeah, I love the place. Well I'm Kate Malone and I was lucky enough to exhibit with um, Robert Lamborghini about a year and a bit ago in my ceramic work. And the gallery, yet again, has put on a beautiful, beautiful show. And in, in a way that they show the old masters, there's this great beauty and decadence in the old masters. Here it is with David's work, and it's just, there's this incredible sense of decadence, richness, sort of imbued with this sort of funny decay. It's very interesting that the word decay and decadence are there together. Working with, with the gallery, the gallery is more than just a beautiful space. It's the people uh, that you work with and, and the staff who they hire. They're, they're lovely people and make me feel um, just very comfortable. And they, I feel understood um, and supported.